This may sound a bit strange, but one of the most important components in any wireless device is its antenna. Indeed, it is the antenna that helps us effectively use the capacity of radio transmitting equipment and increase sensitivity of a radio receiver. The directional diagram is one of the main characteristics of any antenna. A graphical representation of antenna's directional pattern is called antenna directional diagram. Antenna directional diagrams may be vertical, meaning the angle of radiation relative to the horizon, and horizontal, meaning the intensity of the field radiated by the antenna relative to the antenna itself. At the same time, a directional diagram looks like a closed line in the polar system of coordinates. The system is built so that the distance between the antenna in the center of the diagram and any point on the directional diagram is in direct proportion to the energy radiated by the antenna in the particular direction. The diagrams of beam antennas have the so-called lobes indicating directions where the most radiation goes. The direction of the maximum radiation of antennas is also known as the main direction. The corresponding lobe is called the main lobe. The rest of the lobes are the side lobes, and the lobe representing radiation in the direction opposite to the main direction is called the back lobe or the antenna directional diagram. The directions in which an antenna doesn't receive or radiate are called directional diagram zeros. The amplification factor and the width of the diagram are almost always related. The greater the amplification, the narrower the diagram, and vice versa.